So, hello everyone. I'm Jérôme Arnaud, the communication officer and webmaster of the Nutella project. And I'm here to present it to you the action I've implemented so far for the communication and the perspective for the future of the project. So uh, the actions implemented so far are part in the first part of uh, the communication plan, which consists in creation of the visual identity of the project and its web implementation. So the first step was to create the project logo. Uh, so the communication around the project will be easily recognizable and trying to convey the international aspect of the project and its host country. <laughs> So uh, as you can see, uh, we chose a Hanko type logo. Uh, so from it, I can define the graphic charter, the color associated and the font. If you check your symposium flyers, I use all this color and this font. So uh, we can move on the creation of a website. So we chose to use a WordPress um, solution proposed by the CNRS, the GitHub CNRS. Then we uh, customize it to uh, match the graphic charter to insert the logo and a general presentation of the uh, project. Then we try to concentrate all information about the project on this website. So first information is a list of researcher and PhD students participating in the project with a link to uh, their professional pages. Second information, all publication or the member of the project in link with the research team. Uh, also with a link to access the, directly to the paper with uh, the name of the author and the journal of publication. The third information is all the media intervention of the member, uh, also with the link to access this intervention, whether written, video, or audio. And the last information, uh, all events, uh, which uh, the Tela project uh, participated in, uh, like this symposium, uh, one through a calendar, and a list of all previous events. Uh, we try with this website to be exhaustive uh, as possible, uh, so the website can trace all stages of the Mitatela project. So now we have a logo and a solid website. We need to Assert our presence on the social media. So we created two accounts on the two major platforms, that's Facebook and Twitter. With these two accounts, we can, well, we are able to do a classical part of information sharing. For example, if we have a new paper, the website will be updating, updated, and the two accounts post a statue to share this new uh, document. And this book can be like, share, reiterated by a researcher, a institution, or simple user to create visibility around the project. Uh, the last information about the, uh, about the account uh, that the Mitate Lab uh, social account can share uh, the post of other members if they are linked to uh, the project. Uh, I step aside in addition to the first step, uh, the first uh, part. Cecilia Sanobris wanted my head to create an interactive map, like she said earlier, to show a specific area of interest around the uh, Fukushima Daiichi power plant, like the solar panel, the waste deposit, or the sample taken by the environmental team. So I chose the Google Mind Map solution so the researcher can use it on the field through the cell phone and can add new information, a new area directly. Uh, all of the data on this uh, map will be soon merged with other data on uh, QGIS that we created a real interdisciplinary tool. So, and also this map is directly accessed by uh, the Wintet Lab website. So now we have a website, we have a social network account. We can move on to the second part where we want to develop the popularization of the research team and uh, the sharing of uh, project results through different formats that will attract a wider audience around the project and that can be reused by the researcher and the PhD students. 
So the first format is a recording of conference organized by Imitate Lab, like this one. Um, this format uh, will be also uh, diffused on the website and on the YouTube account uh, channel of the, pro on the project. And it will be already launched, like as you can see, by the beginning of the first Imitate Lab session in June. The uh, second format is the creation of a general presentation video of the laboratory with its structure, its field of studies, uh, and its research team. Uh, this video is in motion design and can be uh, easily updated on the social network or, or on the homepage of the website and in different events where the project is present. This video is finished and I uh, present it to you at the end of my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, then in the same style, a series of video explaining the different research team of the project in animation and lasting less than five minutes. This video will be created and checked with the different researcher in charge of uh, this team and that will be aimed at a non-initiated public. Uh, the final, final format presented here in, uh, is a follow-up of the researcher in the field with a presentation of their work in a specific context, uh, with a presentation of the location too, and if possible, the follow-up of the analysis after the field. This format is intended to show how data is collected and then form the research results. Of course, all this new project will be carried out in parallel with the continuation of the action undertaken during the first part of the communication project, the collection of information in the project, the updating of the website, and the management of social network. Before I finish, I would like to say uh, that I'm at the disposal of all researchers and all PhD students to help them to promote their work. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>